So today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my new crested gecko enclosure. If you watched my recent video, it's very similar to how I did my green tree python enclosure. The only difference is that I decided not to do bioactive for this enclosure simply because I just don't want to use a substrate for any of my crested geckos just to avoid potential impaction. Um, and I also wanted to be able to provide a lay box because it is a female breeder crested gecko so I don't want to have to be like digging through the entire enclosure looking for eggs. So just to save myself some stress and energy, I just decided to use paper towel as the bottom, but I still wanted to make a naturalistic looking enclosure. So I was able to still do both by having the naturalistic background as well as the paper towel kind of simple bottom. But I'm not gonna waste too much time and I'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys how I made this enclosure. I hope that you guys like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
So this is Oakley's new setup. She is just chilling out right here, checking everything out. So I did not want to use a substrate for the bottom just because she is a breeder female crested gecko. Um, so she is going to be laying eggs and it's just way easier for me to be able to find her eggs in the lay box. And I'm also just very paranoid about impactions and so I'm just not really feeling doing a dirt substrate for any of my crested geckos. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I could do a nice naturalistic background that has some live plants. Um, I'm not sure how long that these are gonna last. I'm not gonna be keeping this light on, so I may invest in a UVB for this, but I'm not really planning on keeping one for now. So this is everything that I have. I wanna make sure she still has a nice naturalistic background. She does have some cork bark and dirt to climb on in the background just for some enrichment and different feel. She has a lot of fake plants. Um, these two poles are actually PVC that I painted. And then I use silicone to keep them in place so she can climb up and down this one and this one in the back. Um, and then this is her food dish so she can eat out of this. And that pretty much is everything for her enclosure. She seems pretty happy, so I'm happy.